really, you know, the foundation, the pillar um, of everything that we do um, in our life and also in business with BCG Capital um, comes from our faith and our faith in Christ. And so we really view BCG Capital as just a platform and an extension of who we are um, and whose we are um, being God's children um, and really feel a responsibility as stewards um, or caretakers, uh, managers of this um, to steward for God's glory. As a father, being able to work with your sons and uh, being able to do that day every day uh, really has been an amazing blessing for my wife and I, and we're very thankful for that opportunity. Um, but the people that specifically have touched me uh, would be my dad for sure. I mean, he's been a great influence in my life, teaching me uh, how to love people, um, how to do business. Um, I would not be where I'm at today without his uh, guidance and his love and his direction in my life. And I just truly want to pass that on uh, to my children, my sons, and, uh, and their families. Yeah, back in the beginning, and uh, I don't remember what year it was that we started Brook Ridge Estates. Yeah, more than 25. Uh, Carol was a school teacher here at Ossian, and we lived down in Bluffton on the Dustman Road, uh, east about a mile. And I was a livestock farmer all my life. And uh, as Carol was teaching here in Austin, she was driving from Bluffton to Austin, and I would come up occasionally. And I happened to see this uh, particular track of land uh, situated right here at the edge of Austin. And we thought, you know, Austin's a growing community, and perhaps we could go ahead and uh, uh, build a subdivision here. Austin needed to have a another division, uh, subdivision, and Dale got the inspiration that maybe we should try this. Yeah, what Grandpa and Grandma did, um, they were risk takers, right? Uh, what they did was not necessarily maybe wise um, to a lot of people uh, with the risk and, and even just the stage of life they were in. But you do have to take the risk, and that was, I remember telling my students that it's a big risk when you take things, but unless you take a risk, you're not going to gain from it. And so I guess we would like to continue that thread of like being somewhat risk takers in the business that we pursue, because if you do aim um, for big dreams and big vision, then uh, there's gonna be risk involved with that. This was Dale's inspiration, not mine. I didn't drag my feet on it, but the first time he brought me here, I said, we are, you're what? You're considering what? Because we neither one had the expertise. And uh, we just, I guess we had a gut feeling that Austin was going to grow and we wanted to be a part of it. And so when we bought the land, they, it was all in corn. The year we bought it, this farm was all in corn and we farmed it, uh, I think for two years. That year we bought it and the following year. And then uh, we would just take a portion that we're gonna develop and not farm that, but the rest of the land was being farmed continually until we finally used it all up and had it all developed. What Grandpa and Grandma did um, was provided a housing addition for many, many families. Um, and so, yeah, I'd say it's different. It's a different aspect of the real estate market, um, but I'd say the vision kind of culminates together really well. So we just want to love people. We want to, we want to continue to be uh, just a small piece of the puzzle of everything that goes on within Bluffton, within Wells County. Grandpa has always told the boys and the girls, but we've, we have more grandsons, that a good name is the most important thing in your life. And in all the business accounts that they do, to keep a good name no matter what. The most important part of uh, uh, being a part of BCG Capital is just uh, uh, taking care of people, loving people. Um, we love what we do. Uh, we love the people of Bluffton. You know, really an inspiration for what we do is, you know, when Jesus talks about in the Bible how he came not to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. And so that really inspires us to, by his grace, try to use um, the gifts and talents and resources that have been entrusted to us. Servitude is important to us because it was important to Christ. Um, and our business and our values are built on the principles of Jesus and um, his service to people around him was unparalleled. Um, and so we try to represent him uh, through um, good housing and renovations um, to meet the needs of the community around us. We want to serve them by giving and providing uh, quality homes. Um, we're continually working with people, um, trying to uh, make their homes better, make their properties better, make their apartments better. Helping out the customers, you know, or especially when we're like on service calls, you know, when we know that we're 
bailing out one of the tenants with an issue they have and keeping everybody happy. Yeah, being able to leave a you know a, a tenant's house and they got a smile on their face and that's the rewarding part. You know, kind of back to our mission statement, we really desire to serve people and add value. Um, the four core values, I think, answer help answer that question with. Um, you know, servant leadership, the desire to serve. Otherwise, I think you can look at growth as almost getting burnt out. Uh, if you view it as um, almost like a burden or more work or more of a hassle, but I think if we can view it through the lens of more opportunities to serve and love and impact people, that can give us energy. I think focusing on teamwork, which is another just pillar of our organization, is figuring out, get, getting the right people in the right seats, figuring out um, really who we need on this team that we can work well together. Uh, people that aren't maybe just that possess a unique skill set, but also fit the culture that we're looking for with that desire to serve. So teamwork has been huge as we've been adding different members and different teammates to the organization. Um, I think that'll be key even as we look forward and figure out uh, who else we need to add. I'd say overall, the word that comes to mind is we just want to pursue excellence in what we do. Um, in all categories and meaning of that word. Make sure that we're, we're dotting our I's and crossing our T's, make sure that we're doing everything to the best of our ability, doing everything to the glory of God, um, but being proud of the hard work that we do have. And then I think honestly that, you know, the last and the fourth one is the growth mindset of having a mindset where we wanna to continue to grow, we wanna to continue to learn, we wanna to continue to figure out how to be more efficient and more effective. I'm um, not thinking we have it all figured out, but just continue to learn from every project that we have been involved in. You know, it's, it's always been important that uh, I was raised with the attitude that uh, others are more important than I am um, in the sense that uh, we want to take care of people, we want to love people, um, you know, take the short end of the stick. Viewing everything through a, a steward's mindset of understanding that we don't own anything, that God owns it all. Uh, none of this stuff really belongs to us. We have our names on the dotted line uh, for the... Uh, paying the bills and all this and that. But it ultimately really belongs to God in it, at the end of the day. And knowing that we will give an account someday for how we manage that drives us to wanna to do well and to serve, um, to make a difference, to be a part of something that's bigger than ourselves, that will outlast us, um, but to make our lives count in service to Christ. We try to uh, go the extra mile with tenants and addressing situations or issues or job losses or whatever the case may be. Uh, rather than just first day rent is missed, we file the paperwork, things are real formal, there's a cut and dry way, everything is operated. We try to make it more case by case and try to fit the family, their needs with uh, the needs of, of our company and how we can kind of combine them into a way that works for everybody. I think when we, we talk about, um, we, w we want to be fair with people. Uh, we want to, um, th there's a lot of examples out there of people that um, do flipping and um, home renovating, but what you see is quick fixes, things not done correctly, um, things that were just kind of a band-aid fix to the, the underlying problem. And we try to avoid that as much as we can. Um, we really strive for excellence in, in the quality that we do um, and, and the way we treat people, uh, the way we treat our employees and coworkers. We're doing everything we can within Wells County, specific, specifically here in Bluffton, um, to just update properties, make them look better. So we love transformation. We're inspired by transformation. Um, our lives have been transformed by Christ. And so we see even what we get to do um, on a work basis and in this business and this organization um, with the, the lens of serving and, and trying to transform things. And so we love um, obviously there's different projects that we bounce around to and there's usually multiple projects that we're working on but it's under all of the umbrella and the vision of um, that whole idea of transformation. We really try to create local um, properties here that are really quality for the families of Bluffton. We try to uh, reside the outside of properties. We try to put new flooring in a lot of times. We put new windows in, new roofs in. We have maintenance guys that are on top of issues that come up because we don't want things to get run down. That's not good for us. That's not good for the families that live in the properties. That's not good for the neighbors uh, of the properties that we have. So we try to, in general, um, over the course of a year, upgrade our properties uh, because that just seems to be a better fit for us and for the community as a whole. How much more value can we add to the community by doing this? Um, if there's a rundown duplex in town, then we're, we're trying to attack that to see, can we add value to this property 
um, add value for the tenants that are there and even just the overall aesthetics of the, the neighborhood. There's so much endless potential um, within our, our neighborhoods and, and streets here in Bluffton and even beyond that in Wells County. Yeah, I just think it's pretty cool like whenever we can go into a place and, and uh, just make it go from ugly to pretty cool and something that someone can actually enjoy living in. Like, even when I started working here, I had no idea there was this much to the town of Bluffton. I've been living around here my entire life. And just seeing how much of a difference you can make over just one summer. Yeah, I, I see it as we're helping out, helping the community, you know, and bettering the houses and the property values around. I, I think it's very vital uh, in, in Bluffton or any community. If the, if the community is going to grow, you have to have people that are willing to step out and take a chance, take risks, there's risk involved. Yeah, and I think when you're a part of something, whether it's a community or an organization or family, I think you have three choices, as I've heard it said. I think you can leave, uh, you can stay and be miserable, or you can stay and by the grace of God, try to make a difference. And I think we've just had a lot of neat uh, examples of that in our life of people choosing to stay and choosing you know, to have a heart of gratitude and thanksgiving. and desiring to make their life count and to make a difference. I think they've appreciated it. The people, especially like the grocery stores, hardware stores, uh, the school system, we're gonna have basically 90, uh, 90 plus homes. And each one of these homes out here, they're, the homes are probably in the range of anywhere from two to $300,000 homes. And so from the taxation point and the, uh, the money involved is very good for the town of Austin and the Wells County in, in general. I would never choose to be part of another community in this stage of life than Bluffton. We feel super thankful and super blessed to be here and to call our home as part of a Bluffton. Um, I would say even just building this home or renovating this home has been a huge testimony to the power of community and um, not just his family or even not just the you know different contractors we've had that helped us with this home, but also um, just the support that we had from so many different um, businesses and so many different people in the community. So I think even this home is a testimony of a community who wants to see renovation, who wants to see um, growth and beauty coming from that. Yeah, I'm, I'm humbled that there's over 7 billion people in this world, uh, you know, over 300 million in the United States, about 10,000 in Bluffton, and that we get to be two of those people. And so we just feel so blessed and thankful even to be in this community. Uh, we understand there's a lot of people around us and there's a lot of people supporting us. And so, yeah, just a big thank you, like we've already said, to our families and um, employees and customers and suppliers and vendors. There's just a lot of people that have been patient with us and that have supported us and encouraged us and, and just helped us in a lot of ways. And so uh, hopefully they can be encouraged through this. But yeah, we just want to say a big thank you as we recognize you know, our need and, and help from them.